$500 million in federal grant money for the I-10, Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project denied. But officials on both sides of the bay say the fight isn't over. As WKRG News 5's Blake Brown explains, a new application will be submitted next month as the search for additional funding continues. The I-10 Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project left out of a major payout by the U.S. Department of Transportation. We're just one of probably hundreds of projects that are, you know, applying uh, for this money. There's a lot more uh, money being applied for than there is money to give out. Last year, the Eastern Shore and Mobile Metropolitan Planning Organizations applying for a portion of a $1 billion nationwide mega grant aimed at supporting large transportation projects across the U.S. Eastern Shore MPO Chairman Jack Burrell says despite the loss, there's still $4 billion up for grab over the next four years, and they'll apply again in April. We will continue to chase federal money now and well into the future. Nothing in the project will have changed. It just would allow us to uh, pay off the debt sooner by, by getting these grants. And the sooner we can pay off the debt, the sooner the tolls will disappear. The estimated $2.7 billion project still moves forward. Burrell expects crews to break ground on phase one by later this year. He says the U.S. Department of Transportation has asked additional questions and remains engaged with the project. So far, at least $250 million in state funding has been secured for the project, with an additional $125 million in federal funding. Burrell is optimistic mega grant money could still be obtained. I think the worst thing that could happen was that they didn't ask us questions. So uh, if they're asking questions, they're looking for responses, they're seriously considering this project. In Baldwin County, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.